Hello everyone, you're welcome. Now we want to find the Laplace transform of some very important trick functions. All right, so I'll start with the Laplace transform of the sine. Okay. Last transform of f of t equals sine a t. All right, so what we are going to do here is we are going to use the definition of the Laplace transform to transform the function sine a t. So as seen. In the previous video, the Laplace transform is defined as capital L L of t equals the integral running from zero to infinity f of t e exponent minus st dt, given s is kept positive. Okay, so this is the definition of the Laplace transform. All right, so what we do here is we just plug in, um, in place of f of t, we plug in sine a t. So we have the Laplace of sine a t equals integral zero to infinity sine a t times e exponent minus st dt. Now, ideally, you are supposed to do this using um, integration by parts. But then, however, it is much easier to use a very important fact. All right, you could go ahead and use the integration by parts. It works out fine. All right. But I feel it's much easier if you use the Euler's formula, a very important formula. All right, so I want to use the Euler's formula to do this. I'm going to explain this very well, so pay close attention to this. All right, so using Euler's formula, I believe we've all come across the Euler's formula. Is giving us it is giving us e exponent i theta that is given the any theta is equals cos theta plus i sine theta. All right. So this is the Euler's formula. Now we can see that from the Euler's formula, the sine okay is the imaginary part of this the exponential function similarly the cos is the real part of this all right so what we are going to do here is that we are going to make use of this in place of sine we, are, we want to pick the imaginary part so we want to write this as the laplace of Okay, let me first write this. I want to do this systematically. All right, so I want to write this sine a t to be the same as the imaginary of this. All right, notice that the formula is given in theta. All right, but here we have a t. So in place of theta, I'm going to put a t. So I'm going to have i a t. All right. So I'm going to use this idea. In place of sine a t, I'm going to use the imaginary of d exponent i i a t. Okay, and then as seen in the previous video, we know how to um, find a Laplace transform of the exponential function. All right, it's pretty easy. So if you've not seen the video kindly take a look at it but we are going to go through this together so um i'm sure it should be clear all right so we replace the sine a t by the imaginary of e exponent i a t 
Okay, so I'm going to write this as the Laplace of sine 80 now is going to be turned to the Laplace of imaginary of this exponential function. Okay. And I'm going to apply the definition to it. So we're going to have the integral running from zero to infinity in place of f of t. No, now this is our f of t. Okay. So we have the imaginary of e i a t times e minus s t d t. Okay. All right. So. Now this imaginary is of no use here, all right? It's just qualifying this, just to tell you that we took the imaginary part of this um, identity. So I'm going to bring it out, but I need to keep it here, all right? Just to remind me that I picked the imaginary part. So we keep it outside the integral sign. And I have my integral sign and I have the IAT times e to the power minus st dt. All right, I used indices to put this together. So when I do that, I have e i a t minus st dt. Okay, now the next step is to, I want to factor out t, okay? factor out t, and then it is very important you also factor out a negative number, okay? Now, that is because we want to ensure that this integral converge, okay? So to make this integral converge, it is very necessary you factor out a negative number and then t. t is already going to be factored out. So you factor out a negative number, it's very, very important there. All right, so let's do that. Now have e, when I factor out minus sign out, I'll have x minus ia. And I factor out t out like that, dt. Okay, so then the next step is I'll take my integral. Now, to take the integral of an exponent, exponential function, you differentiate the exponent and then you divide this by the result. Okay, so I have e minus s minus i e t already there. And then when I differentiate this, I have minus x minus i a. Okay, now this runs from zero to infinity. That's my limit. I bring it back up. Okay, and now I want to apply my limit. I take the limit as this approaches, um, as this approaches infinity, okay, infinity. So I'm going to place infinity here, and this is going to be e to the power minus infinity, which is zero, okay. So this is going, this whole thing is going to be zero. So this is zero over this, and zero over any number is what zero. So the first part of the limits is zero minus. Now I take my limit as t approaches zero. I put zero here, and then this part becomes what? Zero. Now this becomes e exponent zero. Now e exponent zero is one. So I'm gonna have one over this. Now, don't forget that there's negative um, already here. So I have negative here. Don't forget the negative. So it's going to be negative one over S minus I A. All right. Oh, sorry. So that this becomes imaginary of I one over S minus I A. Okay. Now. Now we have the imaginary of, that is, let me write the whole thing, the Laplace of, uh, sorry, 
I'll do that here. So now we have the Laplace of the imaginary of E I A T. This is what we are looking at right now. And that is giving us the imaginary of what? One over minus, sorry, S minus I A. Okay, so now that is what we have. Now the next step, what I do next is I want to make the denominator of this real, okay? So I'm going to realize this, right? I'm going to make it real. So let me say you realize this. So I do this by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this, of the denominator. All right, so we all know that the conjugate of this is what? S plus I A. All right, so I'm going to multiply both the numerator and then the, the, the denominator by what it's conjugate. So this is going to be S plus I A. All right, I want to do this systematically. Now I'm making this video is I'm making this video long, um, not intentional, but then I want to explain every step all right to for everyone to benefit so you can go ahead and step uh, and skip this all these steps but not that important so i just want to do this for everyone to see what is actually going on all right so this is imaginary of s plus i a now when you multiply this this is difference of two squares right so this is s squared minus i a squared okay now this is S squared here. Now notice that this is I squared A squared, right? The squared, the square here affects everything in the bracket. So this is I squared A squared. All right, remember that I squared is what? Negative one. I squared is equal to negative one. So it makes this one what? Positive. A squared right so now this is what we have okay now notice that this particular function here we can break this into two we can break this into two okay so this is actually I want to do this here quickly so this we know that this is the same as s over s squared plus a squared plus i a over s squared plus e squared, right? Okay, now what this actually means is that um, we are actually supposed to take the imaginary part of this. Okay, so the imaginary part is where we have the i attached. So what this actually means is that the Laplace of this function is the imaginary part of this. Okay, so the plus of this imaginary part of the E I A T, which is the same as the Laplace of sine E T, is actually this the imaginary part of this function. That is why we have the imaginary I M attached to it all this time because we wanted to, to know that when we get to this part we pick the imaginary part okay so this the laplace of this is actually a over s squared plus a squared done that's simple all right so like i said you could use the um, integration by parts to do this but it's also it's very simple when you use the all this what um, formula all you need to know is that when you are doing for sine you are find the laplace or sine from the all this formula you pick the imaginary part so that's what we've done here so if you really follow this you could see that from the all this formula the cost was also the real part okay so what this tells us is that when you are finding the laplace of course it's also the same thing it's actually the same thing as this the only difference is that we pick the real part. So instead of I M, I M here, you qualify it with R E, that is the real. So the whole step is going to be the same thing, but just that when you get to the last part, instead of picking the imaginary part, you pick the real part. Okay, so the Laplace for course is actually 
x over s squared plus e squared. And then the Laplace of um, sine is what? a over s squared plus e squared. So let me write that, that down to the Laplace of cos a t is also s over s squared plus e squared. I'm actually going to do the a whole video on that in a different in the next video, right? So in case someone is just looking for the cost, but then if you watch this to the end, you should be able to find the Laplace of cost at and then the Laplace of sine what at. It's actually the same what procedure, just that when you get to the last part for sine, you pick the imaginary part, and for cost, you pick the real part, right? So now let's look at some examples. Just two examples. So now we know the Laplace of sine. Okay, so when you ask to find the Laplace of sine 2t, where a is what? 2. This is actually 2 over s squared plus e. Sorry, a squared, which is 4, so plus 4. So there's the formula we are using. So a here is what two. So in place of a, you put two, two, and then you are done. Then you have to find the Laplace of any sine um, function. There's no need to go through all the whole improper integral. Okay. All you do is just know this formula and just identify your a, and then just do the substitution. So one last example. When you have to find the Laplace of sine 5t so help me with this this is what 5 over s squared plus what 25 simple in the same when you have to find the laplace of cos 2t this is what this is the formula for cos so this is s over s squared plus what 4 and laplace of what cos t all right, this is what is our a? Our a is one, All right? It is one, so this is going to be what x over s squared plus what one. All right, okay, so that will be all for um, finding the Laplace of um, the sine of a t. All right, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more videos. Have a nice day. Bye.